everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hop Takes here on Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And tonight we have a special return. Now, we have done a few episodes on Eagle Park Brewing Company uh, out of southeastern Wisconsin's Booze for Breakfast series. What they just did in June of 2022 this year is they released finally and officially a barrel aged version of their booze for breakfast now they actually released two versions of it they released their their traditional booze for breakfast that is barrel aged and they also released a french toast version we are just going to be doing the standard booze for breakfast version that is barrel aged tonight so ross do you want to tell us a little bit more about what's in this thing and what's so special about it yeah so as Josh mentioned, we've done the non-barrel version of this before. We did it back in 2020 and the 2021 version. So um, this one's real cool because, I mean, first of all, the flavor notes on this, as always, is going to be the um, bourbon barrel coffee beans. We got the Vermont maple syrup and the Madagascar vanilla. Now, this one, on top of that, was also aged 18 months in Heaven Hill and uh, Willett bourbon barrels. Uh, so we got two different spirits in here, or two different uh, bourbons coming in here. And this one... Per beer advocate, we couldn't really find anything, but it says coming in at 11%, which is about what you'd expect with this. Um, I think the regular non barely version was like 7 maybe 8%. So 11% is right where you expect with this. But now I'm really excited about this one. I think this is something you and I sought out like immediately once we saw it was going to be for sale. So I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, so neither of us have tried this. I, I have had a few barrel, barrel-aged beers from Eagle Park uh, recently. Their barrel age program, I feel like, has really stepped up its game. Like yeah. they were are not known for a great barrel age program, but a few of the beers I've had that have been barrel aged have been solid, and we've always both really appreciated booze for breakfast. So I am pretty pumped. This is what the can looks like. A little different. So similar logo, but these come in smaller 12 ounce cans versus the 16 ounce cans that the regular booze for breakfast release comes in. Um, these these will probably hit you a little bit harder. So um let's crack these open and pour them out struggling blow it on me little splish splash yeah it's pouring out pretty dark a little bit more on the brown side a lot of carbonation coming out of this can I can already smell it a little bit. I again, I love when these barrel aged beers. I love this like caramel kind of tan copper head that it comes off of it. That's always a good sign for me um, when you see that. You get that a lot with like KBS, Black Fridays, uh, BCS. You start to see that. So already a good sign. Head dissipated pretty darn quickly. It is pretty yeah. jet black. It is very very dark. Can see through it a little bit in the neck, but. Uh, very, very dark beer. So let's get a little nose on this thing. Ooh. You definitely get that sweetness from the syrup. I think to me that's the most prominent. Um, it, I, I get a little bit of the vanilla. Honestly, the coffees are more berry than I was expecting. I, I expected more coffee notes coming out of this one. And the, the nose is exactly what you read on the can. Honestly, you get maple syrup. There's 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 a bourbon hint to the nose here as well. I get a little bit of coffee and then to your point vanilla like it's all pretty well balanced. I think to your point the the maple syrup is probably the lead on the nose if you had to pick one. Um but it smells phenomenal. Oh yeah, that that's a great smell. Um Yeah, I Yeah. Good talk. Um let's check this thing out. Cheers. Good buddy. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I'm gonna write a little context. So when we had the original booze for breakfast back in 2020, I believe, that knocked our socks off. We absolutely loved that. We did the 2020 review. We felt it was just missing a little something that time around. They kind of bring us up to this one now. 
this hits the nail right on the head. I mean, you get every single flavor note that's coming off there, and then you just get that nice kind of like warming punk from the bourbon, which just that warming sensation from that is exactly what I want when I have a barrel like beer. Wow. Wow. That thing yeah. like morphs too. Mm -hmm. So body on this is probably medium to heavy. I think just the, the feel of the beer plus the carbonation makes it feel a little bit heavier to me. Um, probably heavier than the original booze for breakfast. As far as like the tasting notes for me on this. Like right off the bat, the first note I get is like a really smooth bourbon note. And there's like a bit of a bite from, I think, the carbonation and the bourbon right off the bat. Then it like almost immediately smooths out into kind of that like candy-ish maple syrup note. <clears throat> um, the coffee is a little more subtle than I, I wish the coffee might was a little bit more pronounced in there. But like the maple syrup, it just softens up right away and the coffee kind of blends in. And then out the back, you just get this like vanilla maple syrup character that just lingers on the tongue and it's just super smooth and it's just thick full-bodied like oh boy that is a treat it, it really is and to your point like you said medium body i think i think because you get that like middle syrup punk that it it, it kind of does a little mind trip with you where it feels more viscous and feels thicker than it really is because like your mind taste syrup it's like oh my god it's a thick yeah. syrup it's um and i'm actually like everything you said i completely agree with the only thing i'll get like at the, at the back end i get the bourbon again because i get that like warming sensation towards the back end of this beer and that's that's so good going down and it's super smooth a really good call out it is still there it, it, and it does kind of almost rebuild a little bit to your point yeah you definitely feel it in the throat you feel it um mm -hmm. in your chest a little bit that bourbon Wow. I mean, yeah. this reminds me of the 2020 version of Booze for Breakfast. Now, we if you watch our, our, our video review on Booze for Breakfast 2020 versus 2021, we clearly like the 2020 release better. 2021 was still okay. I still have a few of those. I actually want to try it aged a bit and see if, if, if it uh, got a little bit better. But this is 2020 on steroids. Like, this is just... 2020 on steroids that extra bourbon kick from this being in those willet and heaven hill bourbon barrels just puts it over the top like it's that on steroids to me i mean so this was this was canned on 6 8 meaning this was popped to the barrels in december of 2020 yeah so it's probably that blend it is it absolutely is so that makes perfect sense now that I logically do some math wow. here. Think about that. Yeah, because the um, 2021 booze for breakfast was totally missing, like, the maple ca maple characters. Like, it was just so subtle. But this brings yeah. it all back. It's all yeah. there. Yeah. Wow. No, I'm super happy with this. Um, I'm I'm disappointed I only bought one four-pack because be, I want to more of that. I think so. they might still have it. I, I, I don't know. Don't, don't call me on that. Um but I think they might last time I was in there, but that was like a month ago. They still had some, but wow. I might check that out. Yeah, this is super good. Um, so where are you putting this on tap? I'm going to four, seven, five. Okay. That is just a freaking kick-ass beer. It is just really freaking good. And it, that is a rare score on this channel, a 475. This is just stellar. The only thing it's missing, like I said earlier, is I wish it just had a little bit more coffee. Other than that, this is freaking kick-ass. I and, and I love this for a barrel-aged beer because it is unique. Like, it's it's booze for breakfast, man. Who doesn't want booze for breakfast? Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm sitting here. I asked you first because I'm debating between 475 and 45. Um, I think, I think I'm just gonna go four or five though. I I, I don't think I can get that four seven five. Lame. Fine, fine. Um, it's super good. I mean, it's it's right there. It's smack dab in the middle. It's a four six two five. 
Um, but it's 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 super good. Um, strongly recommend if you happen to pop in the park and they have this, definitely pick yourself some up. Um, and let us know they still have it because I will be there immediately to get some. Um, this is. And now I'm excited for the French Toast version. I can't wait to try that one now. Oh, I know. Especially because that one got way better as it aged. What mm-hmm. is it like now? No. With the bar- extra barrel aging, I, I'm pretty pumped for that. So look for that episode <laughs> coming at some point in the near future. We probably can't show Molly and Jenny that we reviewed this tonight because they will probably be upset that we drank one of these without sharing it. So We won't tell them. We won't tell them. They'll never know. They don't watch the channel. All good. So uh, check us out on the rest of our social media channels. We are on Facebook. We are on Untapped. We are on Twitter. We are on Instagram. We are also here on YouTube. So like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see all of you in a future episode. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.